everyone. Okay, I think this is recording, um, but I'm just going to do a really quick video because this week our topic is books we would recommend for people who say they don't like genre X. And my genre is science fiction. And actually, as I was going through, um, this was actually kind of hard because a lot of my books that I read either have a fantasy element, and I was trying to keep it straight science fiction, or they're like hardcore science fiction, you know, and I, and I feel like with, um, science fiction newbies, it's important to read more interesting or gentle, like gentle books, you know, but anyway, I've, I've picked out three books, and really I just thought of another one, so I'm gonna, I didn't grab this one, so I'm just gonna talk about it, I think the, the Da Vinci Code is a great start, because it's extremely popular, and, um, they're, it's very fast-paced, so I feel like this is like a historical science fiction too, so it kind of has a different element to it. So I think that really any of Dan Brown's books are good for people who are kind of tentative about science fiction because it kind of shows how science fiction isn't necessarily like aliens. It can be historical science fiction, like that. And um, in particular, I liked Deception Point by Dan Brown. That's probably my favorite one. But Da Vinci Code's his most famous book, so I would recommend that. Along those lines, for the YA people, I'd recommend The Hunger Games. And the reason I'm saying this is because it is so popular. And for people who aren't really comfortable either just reading in general or reading a particular genre, starting off with a book that is extremely popular is an easy way to get into it. You can read and watch a lot of reviews. And also you can um, connect with other people. Like for people who really aren't into erotica, Fifty Shades of Grey is a good starting point, not because it's a good book, but because it is so popular. Um, for another one, for people who say they don't like zombies, you have to read Feed by Mira Grant. It's awesome. Seriously, people, read it. I love this book. I know I talk about it in like every other video, but it's one of my favorite books of all time. I freaking love it. So that's got a lot of cool political stuff some si really interesting science fiction stuff, and the ending, though, is very emotional, so I really like it. And then for people who still want to keep some of their paranormal stuff, I would recommend The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa, or Kagawa, I'm not sure the emphasis is. This has vampires in it, but it's not soft vampires or magical vampires. This is a, the vampirism exists because of science and a science affliction. And it has a lot of elements that people really like. It's got a really kick-ass heroine. It has really frightening vampires. And it has kind of a, a mild romance. Um, this is a much more mild romance book than her Iron Face series. And it has a lot more of those dystopian elements that are really popular while still having that more of a paranormal magic uh, element with the vampires and that kind of thing. So this is a really well done book. I really enjoyed it. Whoa! So those are my recommendations for people who are just wanting to start reading science fiction. Um, if you guys can think of any other good science fiction reads, go ahead and post them down in the comments below. And I will see you guys next week with my next video. Okay, bye.